Hey everyone, today I have a fun little video for you. Today we are doing the lovely list tag titled the Grown Up LPS Tuber Tag. So you've maybe seen her original video, so she is um, the creator of this tag and I think it's honestly really cool because I feel like she's right, we don't really have anything specifically for us little older LPS tuber. Whether you've seen it or not, I was watching it the other day and I do highly recommend it. I really loved it. It was really enjoyable and kind of wholesome. So definitely go check out her original video. Just, I really love the idea behind it. I really love that we have like a new tag. I've never done one before. Um, I'm not sure that I've watched a ton of them either, but I think they're really cool. Um, I know there is like the rainbow tag and the original LPS tuber tag, so I'm excited that we have a new one. So before I ramble too long in this intro, let's just get right into it and enjoy some lovely question. Alright, question number one is how long have you been a member in the LPS community? So as an LPS tuber, I'm still pretty new to the community. I only started my channel around last August of last year. I believe um, I've been really I had I had been I'm sorry I had been really interested in starting a channel for quite a while but I wasn't always sure like oh I don't know if I'll be good at it I don't know if it'll really turn out but then you know I came around to August and I was like you know what let's just do it let's just do it <laughs> even if it doesn't work but so far I, I like to think that it is um, so I was like you know what let's do it so um, it hasn't, it's getting closer to having been a year, so I'm definitely going to plan to do something fun for when it does make a year since I made the channel. But, um, if we think more generally, I've been on LPS, like, Instagram, if you want to call it that. I've been on there longer. I've been on there since, uh, 2022, I believe. I think it was December 4th of 2022? Um, but don't quote me on that because I just know it was December. Um, so I've been on there longer, I've been posting, um, I think I've, I've grown quite a bit. I used to use my phone because <laughs> I, I didn't really have this camera at the time and now I have this, this one. So I'm really glad for that and I'm really glad to be just genuinely a part of the community. I think we're, we're really awesome guys. <laughs> I think we're really awesome. So many, so many awesome people. So yeah, long story short, um, I've kind of been here a bit, just um, not super long on LPS2. All right, question number two. Do you make friend, I'm sorry. Do you make family friendly content or content for teens? So I think I'm kind of in the middle of this sort of like spectrum. Um, I always set my videos, if I'm going to be honest, I set them to Not For Kids, hoping like they'll get out there more and maybe more people will see them. Um, I try not to sort of confine them to being just for kids. Um, we all know about, uh, well, anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd say um, some of my content, like, maybe most of it. Like, I do aim for maybe a slightly older audience, but I don't think I've made anything that's really not suitable for kids. Like, I think anybody could probably watch anything that I've made. I mean, I, I can't think of anything I've made that really is like, oh, you really can't watch that, it's just too much. Like, I don't think, or I don't really swear much, or I don't know. I don't think I've really done anything that you couldn't watch it, so that's why I say I'm kind of in the middle. Like right. This one, number three, is kind of related to the last one, and it is, do you consume family-friendly content or for teens or both? Um, I would say my short answer is both for this as well. Um, sometimes it depends kind of like what I'm in the mood for. I think at this point I'm watching a bit more like teen content or stuff like directed for older audiences. I like a lot of stories I've been seeing and watching with a slightly more mature storyline. Um, the first one that comes to mind, this is just a random example, is High Society. I recently was catching up on episodes and I'm really compelled by like the mystery and 
I don't know, just all the character dynamics, and it looks so professional, but I, I'm not here to plug it, like I'm not trying to promote it, I just, I wanted to use that as an example because it's my most recent watch, I think, um, that kind of falls in that category. But on the other side, I also love, like, you know, I love people's collection videos, I like watching haul videos, clothing hauls. <laughs> Oh, uh, if you didn't know by now, I, I like clothing hauls, <laughs> and I have quite a few of them, so big surprise there. <laughs> uh, but that's just kind of like why I say I'm in the middle, because it sort of depends what I'm in the mood for, but it also doesn't, I just kind of like everything. Number four, <laughs> could be interesting, quick honest opinion on each generation of Littlest Pet Shops. Okay. So, I'm going to start with the one that nobody talks about because it was made in the 90s and I think half of us don't even necessarily know that it exists. No offense if you do, but it's just, nobody talks about it. Like the the Kenner ones, I think is the brand. Um, so, I'll just quickly say that I have no intentions of collecting them. I think that they were like pretty good for their time, like the 90s, but I, I don't own any of them and I, I don't really plan on it. But um, they're kind of cute for like their time period, so I'll, I'll give them that. Now, moving on to what I consider Gen 1. Uh, I find it... Some people, I don't know, like have different names for these. Like some people might consider the Kenner ones Gen 1. But I'm going to call these Gen 1 and I'm sorry if I confuse you, but it's just what my brain thinks. <laughs> but... Um, so the good old Gen 1, I'll even bring in an example for you because I have some LPS beside me. So, oh my god, this is harder than I thought. We'll just show you this one. This little dude, if you can see him, hopefully he's focused. Um, the ones with the like matte eyes, which I guess I could have just said that, but <laughs> here's a little example anyway. Um, I really like them. I think they're really cute. Um, I do kind of appreciate that they did look a lot of them realistic with realistic colors um, So I think there's that going for them, and I think they're just honestly pretty cute now moving to gen 2 which I think includes like ones like my mascot with the shapes in their eyes and then the other ones that just have dot eyes But what I really love about these ones is the glossy eyes. I think it's just a really Excuse me a really nice touch and then I also really love that Hasbro did these like shapes. Um, my mascot, as you can see, has the snowflakes. And then we have like the teardrops and other shapes. Um, hopefully you saw that and it was in focus. <laughs> Just a little show there. Um, but then if we move to what I consider Gen 4. Oof. I'll admit, when I was little, I collected them like a tiny bit, but it was only really just the ones that I thought were kind of cute. There are definitely what I would consider some abominations in this one. Um, so I'll try to show you a picture. I'm talking about these stiff plastic ones that don't bobble, with the really big kind of low-key creepy eyes, and the kind of really odd designs on some of them, like, no offense, but it's just no. <laughs> just no <laughs> no thank you um you can keep them we don't want these please <laughs> uh okay but moving on to i'm going to combine gens 5 and 6 because i find they're really similar not exactly but just uh, we're going to combine them anyways <laughs> um so i do i like these better than gen 4 i they're still not my favorite but I do have some of them that I genuinely do like and I might actually use sometime. Like, I think there are definitely some cute ones. Um, some of the dogs and some of the cats. And I think there's like a, a cute dolphin or something too. Uh, I don't really know. But I, I do like some of them. And then we had those like themed ones. I don't think I have any of those. You know, good old um, Lance the Lemon. <laughs> I had to make that little joke. I'm sorry, but... Uh, I do remember him when he was a lemon boy, and we loved him in all of his glory, and we love him still, but anyway, I think they're better 
just in my opinion, than Gen 4. Um, and then if we move on to the lovely Gen 7, don't hate me, but I don't actually have any of those yet. I'm going to get some. I just, uh, I, I don't have them yet. <laughs> I, I don't really know exactly <laughs> what my explanation for the explanation for this is. I mean, I do like them and I'm super grateful. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that I don't want them and it's like, oh, take them back. No, I love them and I think they're really cool. Number five, what was your favorite year for the LPS community? Okay, this is an interesting one. Um, so you probably didn't know this, but I was actually in general later to the LPS community. Like I didn't really discover LPS tube until high school. I don't know why, I just, I didn't know it existed and I'm sad that I didn't see it sooner, but you know, I can't help that I didn't, so I'm just glad that I did find it um, in high school and I started watching some series and stuff. Um, but just based on my age, <laughs> I'm not going to date myself, although I probably will by giving you a range here, but I'm going to go just based on sort of when I started watching stuff. I'm going to say like 2017 to 2018, just because... Uh, I don't know. I think we got some good stuff from there. I know when I started out watching stuff, I liked watching like Splash TV. Some of like, <laughs> I like that his, oh my God, I can't talk today. <laughs> I like that he does a lot of sort of like just fun videos. Sometimes that's just, you just want a good laugh. Oh, and um, LPS Hannah, I loved watching her too. Um, I know she had been around for like a long time since like before then. Um, I don't know. I feel like we just, we got some pretty good stuff then. All right, number six is pretty fun. What kind of collector are you? Main fives, everything, or do you not collect LPS anymore? Well, no shame, and I give no offense to anybody that doesn't collect anymore, but you know me, I'm gonna be collecting for a very long while. Uh, I just, I love LPS so much, they're just, they bring me so much joy and I know that's for a lot of people so I know a lot of people are going to be able to resonate with that and I love that for you so I I collect I'm kind of like Liz if you've seen her video I collect like everything like there's not really much that I don't like honestly I collect main fives commons accessories authentic and then I also have like just other stuff I've gotten that works like miniatures I love miniatures like they're so cute like <laughs> I don't like them as much as LPS but I do really like them and I love that they're like good sizes for LPS anyway but like even um I find these st this kind of stuff harder to find, but um, the lovely Toasted gave me an LPS um, postcard with my last order, so I love that too. So there's really not much that I don't like. Magnets, stickers, you give me anything and I'm going to appreciate it. Just everything. Like, I just love it all. It's... Oh, and don't get me started on LPS clothing. <laughs> don't get me started. Uh... I, I, I really need to buy like a little mini closet for all of the clothes I have now. <laughs> I have so much and I love it. And thank you again to everybody that is that I have bought clothing from. Like I love it so much. Number seven. Has your channel changed throughout the years or has it stayed the same? Well, considering I haven't really even been on LPS2 for quite a year yet. I, I can't say that it's really changed much, but I thought I'd still answer this one anyway, just quickly for fun. So since starting my account um, around last August, I would say I've grown a little bit. Um, I'm definitely constantly learning new ways to incorporate props, do voices that are more unique, um, just better develop my stories, have more interesting characters and dynamics. So I think I'm definitely like, I'm always learning even just by watching other people create things like you're all so inspiring like thank you to everybody for making such wonderful content like i love you <laughs> uh but overall i think my style and presentation isn't really changed um i i try really hard just to be true to myself 
and just bring my own like take to the table so to speak um i try to just make things that i like and like that i enjoy filming and that i mean i always hope that you guys are gonna like it but i know that at the end of the day i also just have to please myself so overall i think you know you might see me change in the years to come but right now i think we're we're, we're just going and we're growing and we are doing us. Okay, this one is slightly similar in the way that I can't really answer it as an LPS tuber, but this is number eight. What's something you've learned over the years in the community? So again, since I haven't been here super long, I'm going to draw a little bit more on just general knowledge um, that also stems from being on LPS Graham, like LPS Instagram. Um, but one thing I think I've noticed and I'm not trying to hate on anybody, so please know I'm not trying to, like, come at anybody. This is just something I've noticed. It's an observation, and it's meant to be just on the light side. But I've noticed that pictures with main fives get more attention than pictures with comments. I don't know. I, I know, like, I'm not the only buddy that seems to have noticed this and it's also other people that kind of made me really realize that this is sort of a thing now again no hate on anybody like you use whatever you want um i i love using both as well like 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 please just use whatever makes you happy it's just an observation that people seem to favor pictures with main vibes and this is um this one shouldn't take too long to answer it's just number nine so have you ever quit or considered quitting well again i haven't been here long but if we like take into account all of my experience including lps graham i would still say no i don't think i've ever really wanted to quit anything that i have that's lps related i also have a tiktok um but like i've i've never really quit or wanted to quit any of it i do occasionally like take breaks um, but that half the time that just ends up being me still being active, just not posting if I'm really lacking motivation because it does happen, especially like as a, as a student and I'm sure a lot of people can relate. Sometimes it's hard to balance and stay motivated when you've got a bunch of stuff to work on. So, um, kudos to you if you are like me and you are doing both and you are thriving and even if you're not, <laughs> I'm still proud of you for, you know, doing your best. But anyway, I, I've never really wanted to quit. I just, I love it here too much. And last but not least, number 10, some motherly, fatherly, or parental advice you could give to your subscribers. Well, okay, I'm going to just get right into it. Um, I don't know if I would call it motherly advice. It's maybe like motherly friend advice. You know how you can have like that mom, like the mom friend, like the person that's your friend that's kind of like a mom. It's maybe more like that, <laughs> but my advice to you is to be yourself. I'm just going right into it. Just be yourself. If you want, you can call this like advice or just, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but just be yourself. At the end of the day, what truly matters the most is that you're being true to yourself and true to the kinds of videos and content that you want to create, and you just you make you happy. I know it's easy to want to like please the rest of the world or like the community and make things that other people are going to like, and of course that's fine and that's great too, but don't forget to include yourself in the equation and make sure that you're making things that make you happy and that make you excited to film that you're generally just happy about um even like the way you present um i know sometimes we feel like we have to put on like i don't know like a face or like be a certain thing to be liked and appreciated but honestly just you do you and you're gonna find your people you're gonna find the people that really love your videos and you know what i might just be one of them because <laughs> there's not really much that i don't like so i'm here for all of your unique and interesting and wonderful like ideas and videos so please just 
be yourself and do what makes you happy. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna just say right now I'm really sorry if this ends up being a super long video. I tried so hard, but apparently even though I'm a shy person, I like to talk. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I guess I'm just maybe a little more shy in person, but anyway, this was honestly so much fun to make. Um, I tried hard not to make any of my answers too long, kind of as I just said. Um, but I think at this point, you're bound to have to hear me ramble at least once in a while. And I'm sorry, but it just happens. <laughs> I can't always help it. And yeah, but I hope that you still enjoyed this video no matter how long it ends up being. And of course, I'm going to edit it and try to make it as reasonably length as I can. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word, but anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Liz for creating this wonderful tag. I really loved participating and it was just, it was so much fun. I don't know, it was just, it was so much fun. Um, and it'll be fun to see if anybody else does this. So like, yeah, feel free. And I do highly recommend you go watch her original video. Um, she also is really good about putting the questions. I will try to put the questions too, um, and I really hope I don't forget to do this um, in the description if you want to see the questions, but I also highly recommend her video because she also has the questions, her answers, and her video in general is really awesome. Um, and then she also has like timestamps if you want to know like when she does specific questions, all that good stuff, so just, you know, consider checking hers out too, and um, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, wishing you all the best day wherever you are, and I will see you again soon. Bye!